Hello, hello to all the amazing YouTube people. The Neom are here with another episode of the Kramit's Tale. This is the second part of my uh, second Greybeard run, actually, even though I lost the first one. Uh, but yeah, we did the first three dungeons. We are doing really good here. If you are enjoying the run, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, and yeah, let's get going. So, we have some enemies here. A harpy, well, punk. If this enemy reaches the bottom row, you take two damage. Okay, that's uh, that's scary. Uh, I wonder if they spawn in the bottom row. Does that happen as well? Can you just die straight up? Well, maybe. Harpies believe in anarchy and personal freedom and despise the orderly civilizations of ground dwellers. They like to steal food from their victims while they're eating so they can see the looks on their faces. Okay. And then we got the Windrunner. This enemy is flying. You can't equip weapons until after this enemy attacks. Windrunners are the swiftest and most foul-mouthed of harpies. Survival tale of blood-curdling streams of invective that foretell a Windrunner. Streams of invective. I don't know what invective is. That foretell a Windrunner raid. Right. Well, does this one have this ability as well? No, apparently this harp is too lazy to fly. That's fine. I don't think we saw this yet. Pointy Peak. We never went there yet. So we got two of these. Well, not many. So that's good. Uh, six of these. Two of these. Nothing super crazy. Let's see what do we have in the shop. Hmm. I like the tranquilizer. It's pretty powerful. Replace your current action with sleep for the opponent. That's so flexible. Some enemies have really, really like... Crazy abilities, so being able to like just nullify one of their turns, it's just really, really good. Uh, okay, we saw this thing, we saw this thing, we saw this thing. Uh, snowshoes, oh yeah, let's see the... Guaranteed to put a fully grown barbarian under for the recommended 7 hours of REM sleep. So, if you're wondering what a barbarian is, I'm also wondering, it's probably a barbarian bear, I don't know. Then we got the snowshoes. The cost to acquire this item is reduced by one for each frozen enemy in the same row or column. Ugh, it's a tennis racket, a shoe, it's a hot dog, a sandwich, do barbarians... Shh, you gotta get the idea, okay, that's so funny. <laughs> We're just talking about barbarians. Uh, what does this mean though, shit? What do they do? Sure, sure, sure. Uh, goes well with our combo. Um, so it might be worth it to pick up really good defense as well. And uh, let's see, I never saw this item before. Or maybe I did. Uh, oh, that's actually pretty good. Screwdriver depleted. Has an effect when the item has been exhausted and removed from your inventory. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Restore vulnerability to items in your inventory. Use to repair weapons and armor. Makes a great makeshift weapon in the fight too. So when you use it up, it repairs all your weapons and armor for vulnerability. I think this is just very powerful. You need some good weapons and armors to make it like work like a charm, but uh, definitely feeling like it. Plus, it's pretty cheap. It would help us at the start of the fight um, to get some nice extra damage in. Sometimes one extra damage is all what you really need to two-shot an enemy, so... Mm. Plus, the effect is so great. Depleted Restore Vulnerability. Yeah. Even if you restore just one durability on one weapon or armor for one, it's pretty good. I'm gonna grab this thing. Your armory grows. Mm hmm Now I do want I can afford both of these if I want to. This doesn't help us at the start though. I want this one for sure. And this one's kind of alright actually. Gizmos and gadgets are plenty. We still have one fireball we can sell, so we're gonna do that. So I'll definitely buy the tranquilizer. This is a lifesaver in certain situations. And now, if I want to grab another thing, I would have to sell another card. And we can afford it. 
draft an ability that costs two or less three times. That's also pretty interesting. Store vulnerability to this weapon earning grind ability. That's also a nice combo. It's very expensive though. I want to make my deck cheaper, not expensive. The cost to acquire this item is reduced by one for each frozen enemy in the same row or column. Yeah. It's a nice combo. Let's grab it. Uh, so I guess we'll drop... Oh, by the way, the wizard hat will work great with gathering storm. So this thing here... When you acquire this item, shuffle copies of abilities in the same row into the deck. When you acquire this item, shuffle copies of abilities in the same row. That's really good. If we can cast that on Gathering Storm, we're gonna have two. Then we just have to figure out how to get a whole bunch of cash. <laughs> but selling stuff gives you like one cash. Yeah, also killing enemies. And like the more enemies there are, the more cash we'll get. So yeah. Um, I'm gonna sell the wizard ropes. They're gonna get a little bit out of fashion here. Although they go pretty well with the uh, with the gather storm, that now that I think about it, yeah, might not have been the best to sell that. <laughs> I just realized. Okay. Yeah, we should get rid of this one at some point. Yeah, we, this would be better. Drop, but okay. What is done is done. Uh, let's grab the tennis rackets here and let's go. Uh, okay, everything looked good. Ugh, the pointy peak. So apparently we decided to go into the harpy territory today. There it is. <laughs> it really is pointy. It's like it seems like to be the highest, uh, the highest point of this island. Hmm, interesting. Look at that. It's a pig whale. Pointy peak. The harp is roasting you on their peaks, but they don't bother the gondola too much. As long as I remember to sharp to strap a sacrifice to it. Gondola control Vivian. Oh, as long as I remember to strap a sacrifice to it. Bribing the harpies. So oh, what a world we live in. <laughs> Let's see what kind of potions did we get. We got liquid armor just to gain three block this round in combat. Costs only one. Citizen of the Imperium know that nothing beats a full suit of plate mail, but a dose of liquid armor can do it in a pinch. That's, I like that. Now oh, we got this one, <laughs> the the potion of transmogrification, and we got the dragon's gold. That's amazing. This will, this will, this will do some amazing things for this run. So this thing can earn us a lot of gold. We just discard the items we don't need, get a whole bunch of gold going, and who needs more junk in their lives? Upcycle your unwanted items into gold and hoard that instead. Except from Minimals of Dragons by Frederick Komori. So yeah, so if you count the three items that you would not be able to discard for gold, that's three gold lost and three, six gold lost, but you get 15. So nine gold, like, we'll be able to shuffle this thing oh, many, many, many times. Yes. Okay, that works great. So this, this is something I want to find because it combos so well with Gathering Storm. Okay, let's see how many gems we can get in this run. It will be fun. Okay. So again, we got some skeletons. We actually have this thing, but... Yeah, we can't really use it. So does this help at all, since... With chill, we can three shot skeletons anyway. Well... Splatted. So we can go like three... And then two and two, that's not enough, right? Yeah, that's not enough. It's for three, so that's a bit... How many of these do we even have? We'll need like... So for this, we'll need an extra damage slot point, which will be the screwdriver if we get it. Hmm. I noticed I was... I'm not like selling a lot of items this run. Like I'm strong enough to like be able to do it without selling items, which is pretty crazy when you think about it. And the this item shuffle copies of abilities in the same row into the deck. I don't know. 
Uh, I want to get... Splat it! Splat it. Let's split it, all right. Come on, skeleton. We need your gold. Pay up. Yeah, don't, don't kill me. Yeah. Okay, another harpy. Maybe we put it here, the harpy, because I want to have this one, this row free of enemies. There we go. Last time we had Scare the Cat. I think Chill is much better than Scare the Cat. Although we did some magical things with the Scare the Cat. That's that's for sure. Um. So I'm thinking here, right? You could like freeze all the harpies. With that, I'm gonna make this thing cheaper by one. It's pretty good, actually. I think this is a good use of the size boat here. I mean, we need to get rid of it anyway. Because it's blocking the way towards the hat for the gathering storm, so... Yeah. Won't be needing that. There we go. And now we can play that. Before pressing damage to visible frozen enemies, then freeze all visible enemies. Great. Fortuitous. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, I know, I know. I know, game. Don't worry. Okay, then we're gonna play that. Oops. Are we? We can get one more enemy on the board. Which is probably a good idea, actually. And freeze him as well. Bam! Amazing. Now... Punk. Punk, punk, punk. Um, how do we go around this one? Splat it. Oh, they have a pretty nasty double strike lined up here. That's like oh so scary actually. Not sure if I wanna tango with that. They're really clogging up my playing space though. Hmm. Ah, sweet relief. Well that's it for easy enemies. <laughs> Well, there's the screwdriver that's gonna give me like a couple extra damages, which might be useful. Oh, it only goes down by, oh, for each enemy in the row or column, right. Kind of forgot about that. Um, we'll need that to fight that though, that's the thing. Maybe we can kill one of them somehow. Well, with plus one damage, that's gonna be four. Yeah. Mm. We need something to turn into the, the dragon's gold though. There's a lot more enemies coming. <laughs> um, hmm. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Now with that, we're gonna have plus one damage. Okay, we can get rid of that. Then we can pick up that. Then we got a nice fighting chance against these. Yeah, it's like kind of coming together, but... There we go. The store under ability to items in your inventory. Oh, it's gonna do the health potion as well. Oh, that's nice. Hit it. So now we can hit this thing for four and then and then three and kill it before it strikes us. Yeah, that's good. That works. 
See, one damage, really good. You would have never guessed. But now this costs three as a result. Not ideal, but hey, what can you do? Mm. You can do the skeleton, that's gonna bring one more of these. I feel like we're gonna need to sell something. Well, maybe we can defeat this one as well. I need that weapon. Like, we keep getting enemies even though there's like... Well, it's like 50-50, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should be careful. Things are not really looking grand right now. I can defeat one enemy. Sell that. Buy that. Destroy that. Yeah. It would be best though if... Uh, yeah. Okay, let's get the Harpy down here. Hit it. Okay. There we go. Got him. Okay, there's a chest of gold. Um... There's the gathering storm. Nice. Uh, shuffle a copy of Zap into the deck, then cycle this. Yeah, we definitely want that. Um, I want to buy this, start using it. This will also give it one extra charge. It's kind of cool, actually. So we're going with the snowshoes. I mean, they really help with the harpies, but they only have four, three charges anyway. But they can like, they can like block these two attacks, which is really good. Would make that pretty simple, actually. Oh no, I want to buy this when Gathering Storm is like here. So we'll turn this into gold. And acquire this item, shuffle copies of abilities in the same row into the deck. Yes. Gain two. No, I think it's better to gain five, right? There we go. <laughs> and I was worried. Right, I want to do this as fast as possible. I think even if... Yeah, I want this in the deck, right? Shuffle copies of build is in the same row into the deck. You're also gonna get that, so... Some extra gems. We'll get like smacked for two here, but... I think that's fine. I mean, this is kind of like useless at this point yeah so we're gonna use that I'm gonna place it here there we go right never saw that effect uh, before but hey we see it now okay uh, oh this only costs one now now it's a good time to pick it up I think we're not gonna need Tranquilizer in this one. So I can get rid of this thing. There we go. Then I can pick up the Gathering Storm. Shuffle a copy of Zap into the deck, then cycle this. Yes, please. Wonderful. <laughs> Yes, yes, this is amazing. I'm gonna fill up my deck with saps. It's gonna be amazing. 
I think we got like an amazing combo going on here. Just wait for it to pop. Uh, I probably need this thing though to like swing at stuff. I mean, that's now the best time to grab it, right? Finders keepers. <laughs> so yeah, with this, we probably wanna save it for the stronger harpies, though. Mm. So how much does this block for one? I mean, we can block a little bit with it against skeletons, I guess. We only get hit for one by these skelet skellies. Two arms. I'm not sure about what would be the better way to do it, so. Go. And look at that, it's our friend. Instant. Shuffle a copy of Zap into the deck, then cycle this. Showing this way too much. Uh, mm. Another bottle thing. Yeah, that's not gonna be very useful. So I guess we can sell this. Do we need three block? Well, actually, that might be handy. That might be handy. To your health. To your health. Especially since we didn't pick up any other ways of, you know. 5 plus 3, that's 8. If we heal for one more... Well, actually... Can we, like, dual wield here? We can. But that's so... So bad. It's better to use it here, right? This thing is way more dangerous than the skeleton. There you go. Now this thing, I'm not seeing myself buying that, so I'm just gonna trash it here. Another gathering storm. Well, that's piercing when attacking frozen opponents. Yeah. Okay, we can drop another harpy here and then get a free charge on that, that, and that. Is that something we wanna do? have killed this skeleton first though. Hit it. We actually don't need to use that. Wait. This is enough. Why did I use that again? Bada boom, bada bang. Yeah. Bam! This is fun. <laughs> okay. L. Uh, hard ones coming. Ooh, four and blitz. We'll definitely need that thing. We'll definitely need that thing. How much do you hit for? For three. Like how many hits can we kill you in? So now you hit for two. Is there anything better we can like get an extra charge from? Nah, 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 nah. I think that's fine. So this will get the charge. Yeah, that's good. Well, not the best usage of this thing, but we only get one charge on this, but it's already pretty good. So, four and then two and two, right? Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, there's a tough one here. Uh, so we can do we can do this. It's a nasty opponent actually. 
I feel like grabbing that, right? So with this and this, we block the whole whole attack. Then it's stunned and frozen. We get the free attack off. Another free attack. And then it's gonna be a little bit too problematic. But we'll see how, how it goes. I mean, we could grab Zap. Deal 5 piercing damage. Deal 2 piercing damage plus 1 for each other copy of Zap still in the deck. I mean, that's also something we can do, right? We can grab this one, Zap. And Zap the thing. That's insane. That's insane. Fortuitous. Hit it. Hit it. Wait, what? Oh, we need to use it. There we go. Why do we hit for two only? We should hit for three. Game, hello. Game, we have three attack. Hello. See, the game thinks we're gonna get hit and that we're gonna only do two damage. Should it go down to five? Oh, it's gonna hit for three, that's fine. So only the the presumption was wrong. Okay, okay, okay. Well, tough for you. Tough luck. <laughs> now this is a no-brainer, right? Damn. Oh, another one. Hello. <laughs> I guess we kill something. This thing. Splat it. How much will it hit us for? I mean, I can also. Oh yeah, but I don't have room. That's the problem, right? No room. Hit it. Okay, I can ki kill this one for free, actually. Flying cats, harpies are. Okay, then we do this one yet again. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Strategize. Uh, <laughs> three. Oh, which one's the best? We can just kill this thing, though. Yeah, sure, let's just do it. Nice! Hello. Uh, so how many extra zaps did we generate? We're gonna get a lot of gems here. Okay, uh, so this thing... Mm, Yeah, that's not very useful. Two arms. That's not very useful. Strategize. If we strike, can't use weapons against flying enemies, right? I think we just do that, right? can use the weapon. Yes. And now we finish it off. Good. Bye bye. Too bad we're not getting any more gathering storms. Uh, what can you do? Uh, how am I doing with this one? Well, the second attack will really destroy me though. How much? Four. There you go. Hit it. There you go. So having all these cheap zaps really helps out, right? Okay. So this is some extra gems. Wonderful. Uh, we're gonna acquire this. Because even if we have it in inventory, it still gives extra gems. Then we're gonna click on this one to spawn another one. 
there we go then we're gonna also buy this because even if it's inventory it still gives us extra gems then we're gonna play that thing and there we go and i'm gonna kill the enemy and be done with it oh he's gonna fight back though he's gonna fight back but not strong enough okay i like this kind of deck i really do and i think more gathering storms will make it even better 85 on your style bonus hmm juicy okay choose a tile oh uh, i mean we're gonna choose something but i'm not very super enthusiastic about any of these really <laughs> burn an enemy then burn to each other enemy in the same row I guess we got this draft an ability that costs two or less. I wonder if we can get gathering storms with this. Well, it's an item, so we can turn it into gold if nothing else. Coming up next, the old meteor fall tavern, 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 right? A whole bunch of different enemies here. Uh, right. Choose a perk. Survivor, if your health is below 50% of your max after you defeat an enemy, restore 2 HP. Hmm. That's interesting. Start each dungeon with a copy of short sword, chain mail, and matches. I like this one for sure. Ghostly, while you have 2 or less HP, gain stealth whenever you attack or take damage. The next attack has blitz, you always attack first and deals plus 2 damage. Plus 3 if you have a weapon. That's good, but I don't want to have 2 or less uh, health, so. Your base. Damage is increased by one while you have four tiles in your inventory. Ooh. I like that. However, I feel like my, my mid and late game is already pretty strong with all the zaps and stuff, right? So I'm feeling like I should probably... I should probably, like... Just grab that. Start each dungeon with a copy of short sword, chain mail and matches. This will give me, like, a really strong start. So we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, let's buff our start. Okay, cool. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. Well, come back tomorrow or if it's on Saturday today, come back on Monday for another episode. Uh, I feel like we're doing really good here. We're going to have like a really nice chance to finish this without much hiccups. So yeah, it's going to be cool. It's going to be like a lot of zap, 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 zap. But yeah, if you're enjoying this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next episode. The Nirmar signing out. Bye-bye.